everybody, it's Autumn and welcome back to another studio vlog. I hope you all are doing very well today. First and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for all the love that you guys showed on the first studio vlog. I uh, almost didn't post it <laughs> because I just really didn't like that room and I was like ashamed of how it looked. But I was really proud of how I edited it. it is that even a word? Because that just does not sound like a word. So I just went ahead and posted. I just want to say thank you guys for the love that you showed. I'm really grateful for it. And I look forward to showing more on this channel. In this vlog, we're going to be tackling the store prep. Now I will say it's kind of a mini store prep because it's not as in-depth as I would have liked it to be. It's more of a montage. But I do like how it turned out. So hopefully you guys enjoy that portion now i will say too that i didn't get to show everything that i would have liked because i forgot to record some parts either i was too focused or my camera died so uh yeah but i think in the end the video turned out well and it shows everything for the most part i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking right now and just let you guys get to it i hope you all enjoy and i'll catch you guys at the end of the video <laughs> politics people be getting my number all right so i just got home from work and today was a pretty good day at the office i enjoyed it my co-worker and i are actually celebrating our one year anniversary tomorrow so since today was the day we went to the office our manager and a few other people took us to lunch we went to a restaurant called la fonda which i had never been to before but i heard of it and I actually ended up accidentally leaving my phone at the office when we went so i don't have any footage of the atmosphere it was pretty cool but my co-worker took a picture of my food for me and she sent that to me so i'll put that here um somewhere shout out to my co-worker for that because otherwise i was just gonna be talking about it but i had the chicken enchiladas and they were good had a lot of cheese and i love me some cheese i probably don't need it but I love it so much. But in addition to our work anniversary, we're also celebrating our birthday because get this, we also have the same birthday. If that doesn't say destiny, I don't know what else does. Cause how often do you start on the same day with somebody else, but then you also have the same birthday. Now we're not the same age, but like, come on, that's crazy. But yeah, it was a nice day. I'm happy to be celebrating the year. It kind of went by pretty fast, but yeah and when i got home i went to the mailbox and i had a nice lovely package from heather <laughs> another one from heather she had her shop update last friday on the 9th and i'm not gonna lie i was really hyped for that because there was a lot of stuff that i kept seeing that i was like i need this so as soon as it opened i was in there like skin wear is that how it goes I think it goes like that. Whatever that means. I already knew what I wanted, but I was in there so fast that I happened to be the first person to order. So, yay, I'm excited to open this and let's see what we got. Mm. Love these things. It's wrapped up so nicely. I'm gonna save it. I'm saving this sticker. It's going on one of my sketchbooks. I don't know where yet, but I'm saving it. As always we have the lovely thank you card is it oh it's showing up nice today come on camera i see you kind of got my lighting together a little bit at least i tried to but we have the lovely thank you card it says today is a good day and you know what it truly is god dang it the rest of them fell on the floor does anybody else do this thing where you're opening stuff and it's really super duper cute and you admire it and you just don't want to ruin it even though it's like packaging but it's just like you you know you might use it on something else cuz like come on man look at the back design is it is it focus camera I just praised you come on now it don't want to focus look at this awesome back design it's beautiful I, I want to put it on something okay so we have these beautiful beautiful freaking Powerpuff Girls stickers and I'm just 
excited okay I'm a big buttercup fan but I love me some bubbles too these are they're literally my two favorites but I had to get the whole set because they're all adorable now admittedly I haven't watched a new reboot of the Powerpuff Girls that came out in 2000 and something a couple of years ago but Bliss was really cute I remembered when they announced her and I was like okay she's adorable you know I like her but I didn't I didn't watch I'm not gonna lie and then I got this adorable Kuropi sticker that says I'm doing my frogging best and it's really speaking a lot to me because I really am doing my best <laughs> And the froggies are just adorable. And then we have the adorable clown car. Like, I'm, I love, love, love anything Super Mario, whatever. The clown car planter with the cacti, cacti, cactuses, cacti in them. I love this thing. Then I got an adorable rainbow clean that says, relax so you can't really see it i love it because i definitely do be needing to relax sometimes when i'm stressing so i'm always going to look at this and say girl relax and then we have this really nice chancy that says take a chance on me you know because why not i love the play on words like come on man take a chance take a chancy on me like I see what she was doing. And then I really like these designs that she has. Just the little comfy, cozy stickers. Just, ugh. I gotta use my stickers. And then I got this, oh, oh Jesus. And then she included this beautiful, beautiful tulip sticker that is so adorable. I love me some flowers. You can't have enough flowers either. I just wish I could keep them alive. And last but not least, oh, we got a, we got a blue smiley too. Oh, we're keeping the blue smiley. Blue is the favorite color now. Definitely keeping the blue smiley. Look at these freaking keychains. Oh my God. Look at these freaking keychains. I, two characters that be after my heart i had to get i had to get them it's beautiful i love them i let me open now these are so nice and they even have like little glitter and things like that on the front of them it's so cute eventually i'm gonna have like a keychain hanger thingy i saw this cool thing where you take like a wire rack or whatever and you can hang your keychains off of it. I was like, that's what we're gonna do because I have an abundance of keychains. I am a collector of many things. But yes, these are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> that's everything I got. I'm so happy with everything. It's absolutely beautiful. Please make sure you go out there and support Heather's shop. You will not be disappointed. Her stuff is very amazing. And the packaging is nice. Like, like I'm still trying to figure out what kind of paper envelope this is. Plastic paper, I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. <laughs> Okay, all right, let me just stop talking right now. <laughs>
Okay, so for the past few months, I've been working on a couple of designs that I knew I wanted to add to my future shop. Majority of them I'm going to be printing from home, but then some of them are going to have to be printed through a manufacturer because they're going to be like clear stickers or hollow stickers and I, uh... <laughs> I don't know if I could do that at home. Now, majority of the stickers I'm going to be printing from home are already done. Like, I've done the sketches and I've done the line art, but I need to tweak them just a little bit, um, whether it be size or just issues that I see in the line art when I print it, you know? Because I've created mock-ups for them, so I, that's one thing I'll need to tackle. My whole mindset, vision, whatever you want to call it for this store, and my art in general is for me to just draw whatever the heck I want. <laughs> if I want to draw my favorite characters, I'm going to draw them. If I want to draw a stick in the grass, I'm going to draw that too. My point is, I want to draw what makes me happy. I figure that's probably the best way to approach it because a lot of times I'll find myself drawing things that I'm just not that into and I feel like I'm not giving my best self in my art if I'm just not into it. I just want to genuinely enjoy the things that I am doing and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. With that being said, some of my first stickers that I'm going to be launching are a few of my favorite video game characters. Now these are just mock-ups, but I'm going to go ahead and show them because I'm really excited for them. First off, we have my boy Parappa, who I love so freaking much. I did try playing it on my gaming channel like a year ago, and um, needless to say, I sucked. <laughs> but it felt great to play it again. I originally drew this concept last year and I liked that design but I knew I could have did better so I drew it again a few months after that and uh, I'm so glad I did. This is the updated version, I'll post the old version on here. In addition to Parappa, I'm going to be making a mini sticker sheet that has a few of the other characters on it as well. Now that one is still a sketch but all I have to do is the line art and color. I already know how I want it to look so it should be easy to just do it you know right another set of video game characters I'm gonna have is the Mario princesses Daisy Princess Peach and Rosalina and if you're wondering who my favorite princess is it's definitely Daisy now these are just mock-ups as well I think the sizing on these I want to bring down just a little bit I also need to figure out a background for the princesses because I'm going to have these as a sticker set I drew colored and printed all of these at my aunt's house when I was visiting her a couple of months back and I had a lot of fun now since her printer is different from mine I'm not exactly sure how these are going to look so that's another thing that I need to look at that's why these are just mock-ups because I'm like ooh. and also shout out to my aunt because she actually gave me her silhouette portrait 3 which I'm so grateful for because I was looking to buy it and she was like you just have mine I don't use it I'm like you're an angel needless to say I'm grateful and I just gotta figure out how to use it in the first place I like to call this sticker set cool in the game you get it cuz they're like cool and they're cold and they're icy and it's a gang of cold things yeah <laughs> I also plan to sell these stickers which are another set of originals. Now these are actually from my Washi Wednesday series that I did a few years back on this channel. <laughs> as far as my prints, I'm going to have some prints of some work that I did last year that I'm really happy about and also some work that I've done over the past few months. I figured that would be a really good start. I didn't want to do too much. I just wanted to start with what I did have and hopefully people like those. With that being said, I've been rambling. I always ramble. How do you just not ramble in a vlog because I feel like I talk too much but whatever I'm excited to get all this stuff done and printed and just see what it looks like so let's get to it
the mini shop prep amongst other things. I do wanna mention a few things about packaging because the lighting turned out absolutely horrible. Well, the lighting wasn't great in about a few sections, but we're gonna get it together. But as far as packaging, since I am using like packaging that I bought years ago. I'm guessing old me wanted to do eight and a half by 11 prints and new me is like, nah, I'm vibing with the eight by tens more. So yeah, I have eight and a half by 11 cellophane bags that are not gonna fit the eight by tens properly. I kind of showed it in the vlog, but what I'm gonna have to do until I run out of those bags is fold the size to make sure that it fits properly and they're not moving around. So I personally don't care for how it looks, but it works for now and it keeps me from being wasteful because at the end of the day, I did buy that stuff and I don't wanna just sit there and waste it, you know? Like I also said in the vlog, since I am using older packaging, once I finally run out of all of it, whenever that may be, I'll probably revisit it again because there is some few things that I would like to change about my packaging. Having more recyclable material for one. <laughs> we'll get there one day. <laughs> also, one more note. I have like a lot of notes. Another thing that would be included in the packaging is a freebie sticker and a thank you card. Those were some of the things that did not get recorded because I had been trying to figure out exactly how I wanted them to look and I just forgot. <laughs> At the time this video was posted, the store should be open right now unless something went horribly wrong, which I would probably post on my socials, but it should be open. <laughs> I did go with Etsy this time because I created the store a long time ago, my own storefront, and I realized I'm absolutely terrible at promoting myself. So I figured Etsy would be a good way to jump in and, you know, get into the rhythm of it. And then eventually, I would love to have my own storefront, like a Shopify or something. Once again, we'll get there. <laughs> I know there's not too much going on in the shop right now, but I am excited to add to it and just put stuff up there and, you know, maybe make some seasonal things. I'm so happy that I'm moving forward on this journey from finally getting this room together to now finally opening my store. Not gonna lie, I'm really proud of myself because this is a long time coming. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just really happy and I look forward to just growing as an artist, growing as a person, just growing in general. Yes. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again. The next video will most likely be the Japan vlog, so look forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you don't mind. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'm getting a little hungry and a girl's gotta eat. <laughs> Make sure you go get you some food too or whatever you're doing. Enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay blessed out there. Stay safe. Make sure you drink you some water because I don't know about where you guys are. It's hot. It's hot out there. We need to stay hydrated. <laughs> Make sure you spread some love out there because we need it. It's getting crazy, y'all. Make sure you're giving some of that love to yourself too. And I will catch you guys later. See ya. I got my shop and I'm proud of it. Let's go.